I came to the realization recently that I haven't shared one of my patterns with you in probably more than a month, two months now. So what I'm going to show you today is this design that I've been playing around with in my little art journal. And here is what it looks like so far. I think I had a lot of fun with it. I'm probably going to be adding some accents with a little bit of paint or gouache. I'm still not sure yet. But for now, what I'd like to show you is how I do this just using the ink so that maybe if you have some time, you can play around with it. So here I just start with this little arch. It looks kind of like a little bowl. And then inside of it, I put these thinner pieces like this. So they're like these narrow kind of archways. And notice on the right hand side, I left this little bit of a line there. I'm going to be using that in a bit, but for now, I'm just going to fill in these vertical arches with some ink. Right now I'm just using blue, so I'm just going to use that to fill it in. It should be fine. I just want to make this little dark so that it falls into the background. And so once I fill those in, then I'm going to go and focus on that little line that's kind of pointing towards the right. And I'm going to follow that over the top of all those little arches that I filled in. So it's starting to look a little bit more like a solid form. And so I'm just going to follow it around and notice I'm rotating the page. So after I rotate it, I take that line and I basically start that same shape over again. And I start by making this little loop here. I'm going to add a handful of these arches. And I don't really count them, it's just however many I feel like I want to make. And so I'm just going to fill those in with some blue here real quick. And so I'm just going to scribble it in. This is a very organic kind of shape. It's really nice. So there we go, there's that last one. And then right here, I'm going to start a little line. And that line, I'm essentially going to follow it over the top of all these little arches I filled in. Continue to the left. And I'll just kind of decide where I want to stop. I think I'm going to stop about right here. And again, I'm rotating the drawing again. And then once I get to that point, I'm just going to do this all over again. So see right here, I'm going to make a little loop. And then I'm going to do a handful of these kind of arches or loops, however you want to think about them. And then the shape of them, of course, varies. And the number as well. So I can make five or six or maybe even just three, depending on what kind of a space I'm working in. I'll just make a handful of these. I will color them in just like this. So here they are, I'm just filling them in. And once that's done, on the right hand side right there, I'm just going to start this line. It's kind of squiggly and then it goes towards the left like that. And I think right here I'm just going to go ahead and do this one right here. And just like before, I'm just going to start with that little loop on the left and then just make a handful of arches and follow it over the top. It's just repetition as I kind of work my way around. I'm just going to add a few really, really quickly so you can see even if they're a little scribbly, this is, this is really nice for working up really quickly and then you can kind of decide later if you want to do any shading or do any other kind of artwork around it. So again, look at all these arches I'm doing. I can make 10, 12 of them. It's all just really going to depend on how big of a space I have and how willing I am to add more of these. And right here, I'm gonna do some really long ones. It's always really nice to kind of vary the, the shape of them, make some of them shorter, some of them longer, and just kind of go with it. And so I'm really just enjoying kind of working my way around towards the left. And each time I end up with this little space there and I just kind of work inside of it and just add all of these kind of loops or arches. And once I reach the end like that, I kind of just let the line touch and there we go, that's the entire shape like that. And so I just wanna show you one last thing before we kind of move along here. I'm just gonna show you how to do some of the shading if you wanna use a pencil to start adding a few little shadows. I'm gonna do it right here. So it's at the base of all those little arches. So I'm just gonna add pencil. Right now I'm just using a regular HB. So it's kind of middle of the row sort of pencil. And so I just add that shading. And in this case, I'm just gonna use a blender because I wanna see really what it's gonna look like. And so there we go, just use it there. And anywhere where you think it should be a little dark, so basically here at the base of all of these little shapes. So right there, and I just kind of spread it around just like that. And then use the blender to kind of try to smooth it out and do make it look a little bit nicer. So there we go, that's essentially what I'm going to do. And now I'm going to give myself some time to kind of finish this up and I'm gonna show you right now what it looks like. And here it is. Here is the final result. It 
took a couple of hours actually I spent a lot more time on this than I thought I was going to but it turned out really nice I really enjoyed it it was an interesting little drawing and I'm definitely going to be trying this again in some more drawings over the next few weeks it was it was really interesting I really liked it thank you so much for joining me I hope that you like this pattern maybe give it a try thank you so much for joining me and I hope that you have an excellent day and I'll see you in the next one